Hey everybody, it's Bacon, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so glad you're here, I'm glad that I'm here, and uh, we're going to play some Minecraft together, and I can't wait. My uh, Minecraft name is Bacon Donut, and uh, I am a huge fan of hardcore Minecraft, because normal vanilla survival is just not difficult enough. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Uh, so I hit the web, did some searches to try to find some difficult hardcore seeds. And there was a thread where a guy, the people were talking about what the worst possible places to spawn would be. And someone just posted and said, here, try this seed. And uh, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's a good challenge. Um, and let's see. Oh, mods. I use Optifine and I use Ray's minimap and for this I'm only going to be using the waypoints and the normal minimap display I'm not going to use the entities radar or uh, the cave mapping or anything like that <coughs> and um, the only cheats possible are, I, are that I reserve the right to cheat death if the game has screwed me over uh, for example, there was that bug a while ago where if you went through another portal in a certain chunk, you would just fall into the void and die. Uh, yeah, that that doesn't count as me dying in hardcore, right? That's the game just screwing me over and saying, oh, oops, all your stuff's gone. So, something like that happens. I, I'm reserving the right to restore from backup. Otherwise, if it's a legit death, then the game is deleted and wiped and we start over. So um, I'm going to do my best to conquer this seed that we're starting on in, in the first try and we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully we can have some fun and learn something together at the same time. So here we go. Create new world. Let's call this Bacon Hardcore mode, put in the seed, large biomes, and done. <coughs> the, did I mention the texture pack? The texture pack is called Traditional Beauty by Blojo, which is one I, I, that I really like. It's a 64 by 64 texture. On my computer when I'm loading up a new world, um, it always does this. It kind of looks like I'm in the void for a while while it generates the train, but that only takes a second, then it clears up, and we'll see what kind of terrain that we're in. And I gotta say, I love the very beginning of Minecraft, right where you're starting off and it's and it's tense. You're fighting against the elements to survive. You know, later on when it gets all when you get all OP you know, and it's easy, it kind of loses the fun for me. I, I found my, I started playing hardcore because, uh, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. I'm, oh, wait. Cave mapping is on. I don't want that. There we go. Okay. I'm going to leave that off. I don't want to cheat. Um, yeah. Water. Lots of water um, okay all right so um, I'm just gonna swim toward the Sun for now and we'll go from there uh, this is large biomes so this ocean could be really large I've seen oceans personally that were like I went 70,000 blocks and it was still ocean so I don't know what to expect here. Um, basically, I either need to find land, a mainland, or an island with a tree on it, or I need to find an abandoned mine shaft. That's uh, pretty much my best bet. So I'm going to swim toward the sun, and I'm going to keep peeking underneath here to see if I see exposed caves anywhere. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't realize that all you need uh, to survive 
in Minecraft is monsters. I mean, zombies drop so much stuff. Uh, they can drop full all all the pieces of armor. They can drop weapons. Skeletons drop weapons, and uh, zombies and spiders both drop food. And anymore now, zombies uh, drop potatoes and carrots, so you can even start a farm and get the bone meal from the skeletons and everything you need. You know, who needs land and animals and you know food? <laughs> uh, all right, so this kind of looks like an island, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Anything um, within the multicolored squid. I've I've actually done uh, seeds like this before, and uh, it's challenging, but you can do it. Um, you just gotta. Uh, you'll find on the ocean floors, you can find a lot of things exposed. You can see dungeons sometimes exposed right on the ocean floor, or whole big ravines. If you're swimming through new terrain and you see a a ravine. Um, You can often see the water like pouring into the lava and making the obsidian fresh, like right in front of you. Come on, it's gotta be a cave around or somewhere. Killing the game. Alright, let's uh, head over to this island. And, uh, of course, not even one square. Look at this. I can stand on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not dry land. But oh, hey, what's that? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I see the light. Let's go for it. Are you kidding? I only swam like what, two hundred blocks? That wasn't so bad. I thought this was a hard seed. Well, yeah, should still be challenging. Man, the squids are everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. That's wood. That means we have an abandoned mine shaft. Oh, and a torch. Check it out. Okay. Did you know the torch trick? Put a torch down like that, and it resets your breath. So, I've got. To, I swear I didn't plan this. This is nuts. Okay. Uh, time to start breaking blocks. Um, I hear a spider. That makes me nervous. If there is a cave spider spawner right here, then I'm most likely screwed before I even got started. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. First, I need to get some wood and a place to breathe, and I really hope this breaks. Oh, ooh, oh. Nice. Okay. I'm in. Fences like this are really handy. You can. It's another way that you can breathe. Uh, signs, doors, torches, and fences are all excellent ways to breathe underwater without any fancy potions or enchanted gear. Um, all, right, all right. Let's get this wood. Oh, did I see that? I think I just saw a spider. I don't know the squid. Almost a spider. <laughs> not quite the same. Oh, did I not catch that? Where'd it go? Is it up here? I just lost the wood. That sucks. Um, I want to get this dirt block because um, sand Oh man, that scared me. Sand is its own kind of useful, but uh, you also need, especially when dealing with water, you need solid blocks. So I'm just grab some dirt here before I. I mean, there's uh, dry air down there, but I want to make sure I have some solid blocks. It'll be a lot easier. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. 
And I didn't uh, see anything earlier, but I saw iron earlier, and there's a little bit more too, so I'm gonna have to come back for that. Um, okay, all right. I don't see any monsters yet. All right, so we have a solid room. Um, let's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not cool. Ugh. I thought I was doing so good, but the sand trolled me. Troll sand is troll. There we go. Drain. Dad Minecraft physics. Okay. Clear out a little space. Oh, the zombie already? Okay, well you can just wait. I'm gonna wanna talk to you, zombie, but first I need a crafting table and perhaps a sword. It's good to see you though, buddy. Oh, he's got, you know, I just figure that the first zombie I see is wearing armor and has a weapon. He's already got the upper hand. It's alright though. As long as he drops right in the flesh, I'm cool. Maybe a potato, that'd be cool too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Alright, crafting table. Now I need four more. Go ahead and break this one. Ugh. Lots of mobs around. Rolled again. This game, man. It's like it knows I'm recording and it's just trying to be mean. Come on, be nice, Minecraft. We're just trying to have some fun. Okay. I uh, definitely want to kill him. I'm, and I'm still hearing spiders. Freaking me out. I don't want cave spiders. Alright, one more block. Well, you know what? No. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this the smart way and start with the the pickaxe, and because uh, that zombie should still be, he won't despawn really. Can't imagine it will. Okay. The reason I'm not blocking that off is because he, that is keeping the zombie at bay, and I wanted to keep doing that. Uh, okay. All right. So this shall be my first. Makeshift base. Start with a pick so we can get some stone. One, two, three. Nice. And uh, y'all feel free if you know of any challenging hardcore seeds. Yeah, and it's got to be difficult because you can see what my standards are here. <laughs> I'm already worried about this seed being too easy. Uh, so, uh, if you know any challenging ones, put them in the comments. I'd love to try them out. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll try it on the map later. Okay, any more wood yet? That's a lot of spider webs. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to that soon. Oh man, if, if I get ganked by cave spiders, that is bad news. Uh, alright, alright. Oh, I'm still hearing spiders. Okay, sword in hand, and enough for a shovel. Now, you might find it odd that I'm making all of these tools so directly, but uh, 
if you're using the wrong tool, like if you're using your hand to cut wood, um, you end up using more hunger than you need to. And I want to cut down on that, so I need to make an axe next. Uh, so I need three more. And I guess this is going to be my base right here, because I've already done so much with it. Need to secure this more, though. But I'll get there, I'll get there. One thing at a time, right? I still gotta get that iron, too. Um, okay. That's enough for a furnace, but I need an axe first. One more piece of wood. One more piece of wood. Come here, you. Derp. That water's still trolling me. Boom. Come on, stupid water. Okay. Ah, oh, two more. I'm an idiot. Okay, alright. Um, I've got to block that up. It's driving me too crazy. I'll close that off anyway. Alright, alright. One wood. Ooh, there goes the light. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there. Okay, alright, so this will be a nice uh, <coughs> place to start. A little base, a little basey base. So, X. Alright, doing good. Now we can get a furnace. We'll just. Don't need that quite yet until I get the iron, but we'll put it down. Torch. Looks a little nicer lit up, huh? Cozy. It's like a summer home. Uh, for, you know, lunatics. Alright. More wood. More wood. Boom, boom, boom. Need this iron. Is that all? You're only gonna... I didn't mean to turn that off. That's a light source. Stop it. You seriously only gonna give me two iron? I can't do jack with two iron. Alright, the love's still there. Okay, I think I saw more up here somewhere. Unless I'm just smoking crackling or some. These holes. Oh, no, it's nighttime. Who is it? Ah, uh, yeah, that's where it was. It's this hole right here. They say don't dig straight down, and uh, I say they are correct. But when you have water. It's a little bit safer. Trying to get to it there. There we go. It takes so much longer to mine when you're under the toe of the water. That's five. That's a fair amount. I don't have my torch with me. Do I have a fence? No, I don't have a fence. I'm colossally unprepared. Um, okay, let's get our dirt. Let's see if we can clear up some of this. Yeah, there we go. Iron all the things. You're going to be like an epically huge fan and give me a full set of armor, right? You know you want to. What the heck? That broke twice and it's not breaking. Am I lagging? That was weird. That uh, was a bit weird. Ooh, uh, have I explored that part of the cave? Oh, is that... Aha! Uh -huh, that's the same vein that I was 
taken from before. I got you. Yeah, it's coming together. I didn't actually show up while I was gone. Oh, there's more iron. Nice. Oh, and coal. And more iron. That looks scary. I'm gonna save that for later. <coughs> now, in normal survival, I'd be trying to collect all this string in a hurry so that um, oh, uh, here, I keep hearing the spiders, it's freaking me out. Uh, yeah, in normal survival, I would be uh, trying hard to get all of the um, string so that I could make a bed. And uh, if you've never played hardcore before, you might not realize how pointless beds are at the early stage here, um, or at least at least on seats like this, because I'm not on the land, right? So I have no need to turn it day or night. Day or night makes no difference because it's always dark down here. And uh, if I die, I lose everything anyway, so there's no need to set a spawn point. Um, speaking of spawn points, let's get a waypoint. Just, just, just base. So I don't get lost, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for now. Okay, how much? Uh, 15 iron. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better. That'll get us a start. Um, okay. Now, where was that zombie that I first saw? I think he was down here. I'm now starting to really wish I had food. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is there a case of spiders? Where's the spawner? Oh, if you can't be, I'm gonna... Is there no... Where's the spawner? Holy crap, did I really get so lucky? That... There should be a spawner right here, but there isn't. <laughs> I think I just got really lucky. Nice. Yes, I kill bats. Just hate me. Go ahead and hate me for it. Um, okay, well, I think we've got a good start here. Um, we've got a little temporary base that's marginally safe. Oh, there's a skelly. Dude, you going down there? Any other? Is that a freaking Eskimo suit? This texture pack is weird with all the monsters. Gotta say. No, he did not just not drop food. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, so. Bats, man. People say, oh, they're so cute and cuddly and I want to hug them and I hate them. They are always getting in the way of legitimate combat. Oh, that's a creeper. Um, yeah, have you ever been throwing a harming potion or a poison potion? I can't see down there and it's freaking me out. It's okay, that didn't look so bad. Just looking out for spiders, getting tense. Yeah, if you've ever thrown a poison potion at monsters and had a bat suddenly fly into your face and the potion hits the bat and splashes all over you instead of the monsters, <clears throat> let me tell you, you'll learn to hate bats really quick, especially if you die in hardcore because of a stupid little bat. I don't ha care how cute they are. They are a menace. And they must be eradicated. I am not swayed by their cuteness. Alright. I heard it's a little bit. What? Awful? Chain armor. And you're not even going to drop it, are you? Punk. Jerks. Oh, I didn't even... I hit the wrong hotkey. Him with a shovel like an idiot. Okay, 
Okay, now this is getting serious now, guys. I need some food. Um, okay, alright. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take what sticks I have and make torches. And light up the immediate area. I saw the iron on the ceiling. I'll come back for that. What I can't light up, I will seal up. All right, that is feeling a bit better. Okay, all right. Well, I think that is a great place to stop for the first episode. We have. We have a base established, meager as it is. We have iron. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and make a chest plate. Because I know that I've got enough iron for tools as well. Nice. That always feels good. All right. So, next episode, immediate need is to find food. i got to find zombies. And get myself some food because I'm going to be dying really quick if I don't. And uh, we're also going to hunt down that spider that keeps chirping and see if it's a spawner or not. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Oh, be quiet. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Tell all your friends. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then.